The Liberal candidate for Strathfield, Bridget Saker. Bridget, great to be with you. Thank you for making the time to come on the program this afternoon. How's the day been going so you far? Too, it looks like you've got a lot of support behind you. Look, it's been a great day. The people have been, uh, the community has been engaging, they've been warm, they've been giving me positive feedback. I am campaigning to win so that I can serve this community, a community that served me and my family through the most harrowing times. What are constituents saying to you? Look, um, they're, they're looking for hope. Uh, they're looking to, to, you know, to stay open in, in, uh, in the COVID environment. They're talk, looking, talking about their local businesses. They're talking about open space, green space. And that's something that resonates with me because they're my needs and my challenges because this is my home. Strathford is my home. It's interesting you mentioned businesses speaking to the Labor candidate, Jason Yatsen Lee. He believes that voters are unhappy with the government's handling of the Omicron variant and that's why businesses have been struggling. Do you think that is a factor in this contest? What the local businesses have been talking to me about is actually hope, thriving and staying open. And what I have actually um, re realised in the last few weeks is that over half of, obviously over half of the Strathfield electorate uh, is born overseas. And a lot of them are really focused on working on their own businesses in the business. Just like me, I've got my own business and I understand what it's like to work in your business. And what I've, what I've come to realise is there's a lot of services and a lot of grants that are, are available for the local businesses that they're not aware of. And I want to be that community representative that connects them with, with those services and, and help them so they can thrive and they can stay open and be successful. OK, well, you're motivated to give back to the community after your daughter, Veronique, passed away tragically. How are you feeling today? How important is this day for you? Well, the first thing I did this morning was go visit my daughter at her resting place. Um, I asked her to give me the courage so, uh, to, to, you know, to be um, the best I can today, to be amongst my community and to show her that I am here to serve because this tragedy, I know in my heart, has a much greater purpose and that purpose for me is to give back and to serve because this is a community that was there for me in the most hardest time. So that's, uh, it's, a, it's hard, grief never goes away. We live in a countercultural society where people don't talk about grief. But I want to show the community that grief is part of everyday life and there are people in our community that suffer and they suffer in silence. And our tragedy was so public that people came to us from all walks of life and the community, the churches, the schools, everybody, you know, professionals. But there are so many people out there, Gabriella, that, that have no one. And I want to connect with those people. I want to reach out to them and I want them to know that I understand their pain. Bridget, it is a tight race. Are you confident there will be a result tonight? Many are expected to post their votes. That's right. I mean, it is, uh, there is postal votes um, and, you know, that's somewhat different. But, um, look, I, I'm new to the whole um, uh, uh, postal process, but um, let's see what happens. All the best I'm, for I'm tonight. looking forward to hopefully be given that opportunity to uh, be the uh, representative at Strathfield. Bridget Saker, thank you so much for making the time to come on the program. We'll uh, speak to you again soon. All the best. Thank you.